Today, we will read chapters 27 through 29. The before reading questions to think about while we're reading. Number one, with no witnesses, Billy was sure he would lose the bet. What did Billy decide to do so witnesses would see him eat the 13th worm? Number two, what did do Billy do as he ate the 13th worm? Number three, what did Alan and Joe have to do the next day after tricking Billy by feeding him candy and junk at the Mets game? How did Alan and Joe's actions contribute to the sequence of, of events after the Mets game? And number four, what other punishments did they receive from their parents? The 13th Worm. Under the street light in front of Alan's house, Tom and Pete knelt over the siren. Billy stood beside them, the night crawlers squirming in his fingers. Now wait till lots of lights come on all over in all the houses, said Tom. Then chop it down. Ready, Pete? Now. The silent siren growled, winding slowly up and, and up until it screeched across the sleeping neighborhood sending birds squawking and chirping into the air from trees and rooftops. Dogs began to bark. Windows lit up. There were confused shouts, bangs of windows slammed, slamming up. Ladies and gentlemen, shouted Tom through the dying wind of the siren. Alan Phelps and Joseph O'Hara threw their thinkness in cheating, their lies and dirty. Come on, muttered Billy, his head thrown back. Dangle, dangling the worm over his mouth. We haven't got much time. Alan Phelps and Joseph O'Hara, shouted Tom, have forced us to wake you all up so that you may have witnesses. Ta-da! The eating of the 13th worm. He dropped to his knees. The siren wound slowly up to a screech. Billy dropped the crawler into his mouth and chewed furiously. His eyes closed fell to his knees, still chewing, his face turning beet red, toppled over on his side, still chewing, rolled about the sidewalk, clutching his stomach, still chewing, Tom and Pete kneeling by the street, light, working the screaming siren. Billy threw open his arms and lay still on his back under the glare of the street, light, his mouth wide open. Ta-da! announced Tom's springing up and pointing to Billy. The three boys ran off into the darkness. As they went, Tom yelled, Remember, Alan Phelps and Joseph O'Hara.